actually seeing each other and seeing the end result, at least as of right now, is the, the most satisfying thing I could think of. So imagine if in three years you went from one truck to 60 and two corporations, what's going to happen in the next three or five years? Do you have any particular plan or are you just enjoying your your moment? I think right now we're preparing. We do have some future ventures that we want to do. But um, one thing I, I learned is is patience. So we're definitely going to take our time to make the right call. And when it's time to grow, we'll make sure to do it uh, correctly. So what's the balance between having patience and being relentless? Uh, I think it goes hand in hand. Um, I feel that we're all relentless because we want to accomplish things and we have a lot of ideas and we want to do it. Yeah, especially once once you've got traction, which I feel we have traction and we're moving forward and we're going up that mountain. But when it comes down to patience, you, you really got to sit back and understand is if I keep climbing this mountain at the same speed, I might lose grip and fall back down. So from having that relentless motion going forward, you got to some, sometimes sit back and, and really uh, look at your surroundings before you keep going up the mountain. What's money for you, the meaning of money? Uh, for me, I think it's a tool. I think it's a tool to create. I think it's uh, a way to create your dreams, your ventures. Um, you know, that that's kind of the way I see money is, is, is a way to accomplish what you want to accomplish and, um, of course, help people use it for the better. So, Jose, ¿qué es el dinero para ti? Bueno, uh, mira, Fernando, la verdad, yo, yo he escuchado que Muchos que dicen, ¿verdad?, que, que el, dinero no, el dinero no compra todo y que el dinero no compra la felicidad, exact, etcétera, etcétera. ¿verdad? Pero yo que he estado en, en situaciones muy difíciles, ¿verdad?, desde niño, desde que yo... De pobreza. Yo, de, de pobre, yo llegué aquí, desde que llegué aquí a, a los Estados Unidos, mi, mi mamá me trajo este brincando por Tijuana con Coyote, ¿verdad?, y, y se habló muy bien inglés, ¿verdad?, pero... Pero yo llegué aquí a la, a la, a la Junior High, y, pero mi primer idioma es el español. Y para mí el dinero, la verdad sí, sí es muy importante de, eh, en el tema de que para pagar los biles, para tener tu familia a gusto, para tener tus hijos y para todo. ¿verdad? Y por eso, por eso yo siempre le he echado muchas ganas y a trabajar por el dinero y por, por la felicidad. El dinero para ti tiene una... Un significado mucho más importante porque tú... Porque yo no tenía dinero. Sabes lo que es, exacto, sabes lo que es vivir sin dinero. Sin dinero. Interesante. Eh, Fernando, so do you have an, a habit or something that really marks your, your life? Like you do some, some kind of stuff that helps? Yes, uh, I, I think I'm part of the, the 3 a.m. club that I call. Which, uh, you know, uh, since I was very young, uh, I've been up at three o'clock in the morning every single day. Um, even if I have nothing to do, um, I, I don't like to waste time and I love to um, plan my day. And I love waking up in the morning when everyone else is sleeping, have some time to myself. I love the beach. Um, the people that know me, uh, to me, the beach is everything. So two to three times a week. Um, I've always gone to the beach by myself, sat in the sand, listened to the waves just break, and just gather my thoughts and come up with ideas, think of of things that I want to accomplish, and what do I have to do? And and you know, to me that that's always been it's always been my thing. Yeah, you know that it's amazing, but they call it the gang of the three or four o'clock in the morning. Most of the uh, rich or successful executives, they do that. They wake up at three or four in the morning, so they have time for themselves. As you are doing it, so I mean, it's it's very interesting that you you have that habit. What about you, Jose? Para mí, mi hábito es como este siempre de trabajo, siempre cien por ciento. Incluso si digamos que no estoy en la oficina o que que le digo a mi compadre, hey, hey, compadre, pues, este, digamos, este fin de semana tengo que algo que hacer o voy con la familia a Mexicali, a Tijuana, donde sea. 
de todos modos, yo no me coto de, del negocio. Yo me, me siguen llamando choferes, me siguen llamando clientes y ahí estoy para atenderlos. Y, y también le doy tiempo a la familia, pero a, a, hago como un balance. El balance adecuado entre negocio y familia. You know, because, porque si tienes bien el negocio y mal a la familia, no funciona. Y viceversa, ¿correcto? Exacto. E interesante. Fernando, so, is there someone that you admire, besides, of course, your parents, your family, some uh, person or figure that you really admire or you get inspiration from? I I actually have a few of them. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of people that are very close to me that that inspire me every single day. Um, they're also uh, business owners. Um, you know, so I could definitely uh, name a few of them. Uh, but one one specifically, someone that helped me at a very young age uh, is Brad Scott. Um, he's always been a, a, a mentor figure for me. Uh, he's always helped me since the age of 15, and uh, That that's definitely someone that I learned a lot from on an everyday basis. I spent a lot of time with with him growing up. Um, I saw him, uh, you know, close a lot of businesses. He was also an entrepreneur. He was, also owns businesses, and I learned a lot from him. And uh, that's probably the the number one person that I could say I look up to. Is he still alive? He's still alive. Yes. And uh, so, is there any question that you haven't asked him that still you are <laughs> I, I would probably say that uh how did he have the patience to deal with me because <laughs> I asked him so many questions all the time and um you know I I don't know how he did it to uh, put up with me. Interesting. What about you? Say you have una persona que tú admires, una figura parte de la de tu familia, por cierto. Bueno, pues la verdad yo como me gustan las noticias, este yo admiro mucho al ex presidente al Barack Obama. Porque uh -huh. como, o sea, como vino de la nada también de su familia, muy pobre, estudió y no, se hizo presidente de los Estados Unidos. O sea. Y si estuvieras enfrente de él ahora, ¿qué, ¿qué pregunta le harías? ¿Qué le dirías? ¿Cómo lo hizo? <risa> <risa> excelente, excelente. Is there any message, uh, Fernando, that you would like to tell to the listeners? that comes from your heart and your mind for entrepreneurs? Definitely, I would tell them to um, not be scared, um, not to have that fear. And if they do have that fear, uh, reach out to people. Reach out to people that you feel are successful or reach out to people that are in the place that you want to be. Surround yourself with the people that you feel have that positive energy. I'm really I'm really big when it comes to positive energy, and I, I do my best to have those people around me as much as possible. Interesting. What about you, Jose? Bueno, lo que yo le diría a la, a la gente nueva que quiere hacer así, que se quiere meter al negocio, primero que nada, que, que cuiden sus records, ¿verdad? O sea, su record per, personal, muy, muy este, importante. Y porque donde quiera que vayan se los van a checar. Si quieren empezar un negocio, si tienen un, un, un récord malo de criminal o algo, ya reject them. So eso es una cosa muy importante. Otra cosa es este la educación. Aunque sea que quieran hacer un negocio, yo les, les aconsejaría que, que siguieran este, en la escuela, que trataran de agarrar un, un degree de lo, de, lo, de lo que puedan, de lo mejor que puedan, porque uh, si, si no funciona o algo, Siempre tiene algo con qué respaldarse. Porque una compañía importante les va a pedir un, un, un degree. So, eso es lo que yo les aconsejo, que, que sigan sus sueños, pero que también tengan algo con qué respaldarse. Y la última pregunta. Eh, ustedes son socios y se llevan muy bien, por lo que yo veo. ¿Cuál es el secreto, aparte de tener un contrato firmado, porque el contrato lo tienes guardado, pero no lo sacas todos los días, y si lo tienes que sacar todos los días, you're in big trouble. Correct. That means that the partnership is not working. So, ¿cuál es el secreto para una buena sociedad? Uh, yo creo que, que sería eh, la confianza, uh, tenernos uh, confianza. You know, José es, es mi compadre por algo, eh, tenemos una buena relación. Entonces, uh, yo soy el godfather de, de Eduardo, es, es su, su varoncito. Y, y más que nada es eso, la confianza y, y, y you know, de, de comunicarse, ser honesto todo el tiempo. 
y eso es realmente lo más importante es ser honesto. Probably you get a couple of issues a day because your industry is, you know, millions of parts moving, literally. So how do you deal with it? Is it just like you have your field and he, Jose, has his field or, or you talk or how, how do you work? Nos comunicamos y hablamos. Uh, si él puede arreglar el problema, él lo arregla. Si yo puedo arreglar el problema, yo lo arreglo. Entonces es una comunicación que hemos tenido de que no importa, no importa quién es el que que agarre el problema, uno, uno se encarga de, de arreglarlo. Claro, si, si yo agarro un problema y no lo puedo resolver, entonces me comunico con él y, y lo atacamos juntos. Pero lo más importante es, como, como digo, la comunicación y tener la confianza de que no importa quién, quién es el que agarre el problema, lo va a solucionar. Fernando y José, thank you so much for being with us in Como Lo Hizo. I think it's, your story is amazing. I'm really proud of being able to, to meet you finally and uh, what you just uh, taught us I mean it's, it's incredible in three years you went from one to 60 trucks and three companies and you had to sell and, and put everything on the line for your dream which is so inspiring thank you so much for being with us muchas gracias Tocayo muchas gracias Fernando if you want to know more about this company go to Facebook or Instagram at Freightmaster USA. Thanks so much for listening to our show this week. If you want to find out more about our podcast, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Como Lo Hizo, or visit our website at comoloiso.com. Please subscribe to our show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to your podcast. If you want to reach out to comment or suggest a topic, please email hello comoloiso.com. This show was produced at the iHeart Studios in Los Angeles. I'd like to thank our producers, Fernando Alejandro Esquiantarelli and Amelia Machiavello, our sound engineer, Martin Garcia, and Annie Sidervich, our general producer. Como Lo Hizo is a co-production from Premier Radio Network and Crece Grow Media. I am Fernando Esquiantarelli. Thanks again for listening. 